What's up, y'all? Yes, I'm here with another video after just posting, like, yesterday. Um, this will be coming out the day after. Today is Thursday, the day of the Falcons and Eagles game. I was watching it. It, bro, it was the one of the most boring games I've ever seen. The score right now, uh, it's halftime. I'm pretty sure it's 63. Um, Atlanta's, Atlanta's lead, it... It's an incredibly boring game, and I said, you know what, I'm not going to spend any more time watching this. Let me go do something productive. And I thought, why not make a little video on how I think that the Saints vs. Bucks game is going to go. So this is our season opener. It's in New Orleans. Um, It should be a fairly uh, not much of a challenge for New Orleans, if that makes any sense. I feel like we're not going to have any trouble beating Tampa because... They're not that great. Um, you you can make the argument, eh, you can't call an NFL team bad. They're an NFL team. But when it comes to NFL team standards, they're not good. Um, but yeah, like I said, we shouldn't have too much trouble with uh, Tampa Bay. I'm going to go over a quick little couple of things you should watch during the game and uh, my prediction at the end. I've already made the prediction video. I don't know if any of y'all have seen it. It has like 500 views right now. Didn't do too hot, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. So, um, the game. I feel like something you should watch 100% is the rivalry between... Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore and if you follow my Instagram I've been posting recently and that's something I made a post about um, they have a rivalry that is brewing last year y'all seen flashes of it when they started getting into fights and stuff which is good because that brings more entertainment to the game even though it might bring some suspensions and fines along with it you should watch uh, Marshawn Lattimore and Mike Evans you should watch Marcus Davenport. You should watch Ken Crawley. You should watch um, Patrick Robinson. You should watch Cameron Meredith. This is going to be the first game we get to see Cameron Meredith in action. We've seen him play during the preseason, but not anything crazy. Uh, Chaquan Smith is going to be playing also. There's a lot of things you could watch for in this game. Um, we're going to see how our offense flows and how our defense flows. We're going to get a first look at the 2018 New Orleans Saints, and I feel like it's going to be a good game on both sides of the ball. Uh, Jameis Winston's out, so um, it's, it's Ryan Fitzpatrick that we're playing against. And as we know from last year, we beat them like 30-3 to when they had 30-13, 30-3, something like that when they had Fitzpatrick. Um, he clearly doesn't pose much of a threat to us. It's just going to be a fairly easy game for New Orleans, and um, I want to do a whole position, um, you know, thing. Uh, the quarterbacks for New Orleans are better. Running backs for New Orleans are better. Wide receivers. This one's a little bit debatable, but then again, it's not. Because you have Mike Evans, but then you have Mike Thomas. And then you have Cameron Meredith, Tegan Jr., Jaquan Smith. So I think the wide receivers, we have that edge too. Also, offensive line, um, we have the edge. Uh, linebackers, they have the edge. We have the edge for corners, um, safeties. Defensive ends, they have the edge for defensive tackles. So it's a pretty not well-balanced game for Tampa Bay. We aren't really the best opponent for them because they can't really do much against us, period, point blank at all. Um, players to watch, watch Cameron Meredith, watch Patrick Robinson, like I said before, watch Marshawn Lattimore and Mike Evans. Watch everybody. Like this game is going to be a good game to, like, to see if the new additions we got form together well. Demario Davis, don't forget about him. Um, like I said before, this should be a very, 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 very one-sided game. If it's not, whatever um but yeah this is just a quick little video saying what i think is gonna you know what i a little um what's it called preview to how i think that the saints vs buccaneers game is gonna go 
Um, the Saints should win it, and I think we should win it by at least two scores plus. There's just they they can't hold the amount of firepower we have, and they don't have enough firepower to fire back at our firepower. If you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, yeah, fairly easy game to review. The opinion is pretty much universal across everyone. Tampa Bay is probably going to lose this game and we'll be moving to Cleveland to play, or not to Cleveland. Cleveland will be coming to us and we'll be playing them. Uh, so yeah, this is just a quick little video I wanted to put out before uh, Sunday's game. I'm sweating, it is hot in here. But that's a quick little game I wanted to, or a quick little video I wanted to put out before Sunday's game. I'm not going to be editing it much because, like I said, this is just a quick video of me telling y'all my thoughts. Um... I will be making videos like this after every game and before every game, so this is the one before the game, obviously, and then I'll be making a review after the game to talk about how everything went. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time. Uh, subscribe if y'all want to. I don't really ask for y'all to subscribe often, but if y'all are new, go ahead and do that. Like, comment, do all that jazz. Tell me how y'all think the game's going to go in the comments and give me some suggestions, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Adios. Thank mm -hmm.